Today I am doing some sketching and drawing and I'm doing as Betty Edwards suggested in uh, copying some master portraits and doing some line drawings and uh, these are all uh, dead artists, <laughs> Van Gogh um, masters uh, that have passed away and I'm just doing the work for myself. Uh, this isn't uh, professional work. This is uh, something that Betty Edwards and other uh, teachers have suggested doing uh, the way apprentices in uh, older times often did. And um, I mean the reason's pretty clear. I, I mean if you're learning from a master uh, that's better than learning from an amateur and these are definitely the masters so I got some books at the library uh, by Van Gogh, Cezanne um, this one's interesting I mean these are huge volumes I would love to just read but as you can see even though these are famous painters they did so much drawing and sketching. Um, this one is Egon Schiel sketchbooks. So these are literally his sketchbooks that have been scanned into this book. Um, looks very interesting as far as the content. So, um, and maybe just his thought processes. So I'm looking forward to, uh, in fact, one of the sketches I do is from this book. But I'm looking forward to reading, actually. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry my head's in the way here. Maybe I'm covering a nude and I didn't even know it uh, to make this PG-13. <laughs> but as you can see, these masters have volumes and volumes of sketches. That's how, you know, they probably got so expert. Um, this is someone I hadn't heard of before, Raphael Sawyer. He's a Russian-American artist. This is an old, old book. As you can see, it kind of looks hand-bound, um, but beautiful copies. A lot of um, very, um, I like his settings. They're not very constructed. Lots of mothers nursing babies, things like that. Uh, and Matisse portraits uh, since we're, I'm still working on the portrait basically. Um, I didn't do any profiles. I couldn't, I didn't, I'm sure I could find there's kind of a profile. Um, in fact, the first drawing I do is, um, it's not a complete profile, but again, it's similar to that one. It's um, by Cezanne, I believe. And I think it's called A uh, Woman with Veil. Pretty sure that's the name of it. So I'm doing what uh, Betty Edwards suggested, like I did in one of my previous videos, and I'm just laying my crosshairs directly on the image. And it's so tiny, I'm going to try to enlarge it a little bit. So I've got my measurements on my white paper uh, the same size as the uh, viewfinder measurements and I'm just going to enlarge this as <laughs> you can see me using my thumb but that doesn't really work I I more eyeball it and just use fractions um, and then uh, try to focus on the negative spaces <laughs> oh, this is um good practice anyway so I hope my head's not in this whole entire thing uh, but anyway we can talk about this um, I I do like this portrait because it's and Cezanne's work because it's very loose and um, it's not hyper realistic so um, it's kind of fun in that way. Um, he has his own style. So um, I mean, it's more about, and I, I kind of like that tending towards, it's not abstract, but um, it's more about 
the placement of the main parts than, you know, getting every single eyelash. In fact, there's no eyelashes. It's more about uh, just uh, the whole, um, the whole body of work, not just uh, the tiny, tiny details and making it look like a photograph. So I think that's one thing that is cool. And something that I am attracted to is having the skills to do maybe hyper-realistic work that looks like it could be a photo where you have to do a double take because you're like, wait, is that a photo or a painting? Um, to be that skilled, but also to be... Um, able to have your own style and know what to edit out and uh, make it expressive as your own work. And to be honest, I, there are, uh, there are some uh, very like the photorealistic artists um, that I like, but so many of them, I'm, I don't know. I just don't like that style very well. Uh, but there are a few, and usually uh, when they are super realistic, it's um, they still have their own style. I don't know how to describe it, uh, like what would make me attracted to it over something else. But there's a lot of the realistic art that I just don't like at all. Um... So, I mean, I don't, I shouldn't be critical probably um, just because of my skill level. But, um, you know, it's just a personal preference, I think. And also, maybe I just don't um, have the, the words to express what I'm thinking right now. But um, I could show you examples maybe of works I like. All these books, definitely I like the work in them. So um, there you go. And uh, this nose here I was struggling with. Um, so I'm, I'm happy actually with the port, the work I'm doing, but I'm noticing that it's still not, I'm, something was off so it's like accounting it's like everything's off so um you know and then you have to go back and start erasing so that's the thing to be careful of i'm realizing um and i will hopefully get to a point where i'm not even using crosshairs and i'm doing this from live models more and um you know, I can tell by the sketches that this was very freehand in a way. I mean, I know Betty Edwards says oh, these artists are still making those notations, but uh, they're definitely not struggling and so tight um, as I am right now. And I, I notice a difference when I have that confidence in my painting and it shows in my brush strokes and so forth. So here I'm actually w was happy, so, um, but it was, her face was a little more fat than it should. Oh, and here, um, let me talk about this a minute. So this was a sketch by Egan Scheel that he did, and I'm going to draw it. Now the main thing that I did wrong with this is I flipped it upside down halfway through, which I thought was a good idea because then I could, you know, do that trick the brain or the left brain to drop out. The only problem is everything was off and you have to stay um, with your everything lined up. You can't just, it's like a measuring cup. You can't, you have to have it at eye level. And so the face got, uh, you can tell one side's different than the other because of that. Um, uh, but other than that, I'd say, um, this is definitely a great practice and, uh, get using just some books. You don't have to go to an actual museum if you just get a book, uh, of art and for your own personal practice, this isn't, um, something that, we're going to share it. You can keep it totally private, but, um, it's, um, this is my results so far. So thanks for watching and congratulations. You made it to the end of the video.